welcome back to Spellbinders. My name is Yanis Makula. I'm a designer at Spellbinders. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a beautiful birthday card using our new Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil system. I also have a few tips and tricks for you up my sleeve, so I hope you'll enjoy this video. If you're new to the Glimmer Hot Foil system, be sure to watch our introductory video and basics of foiling video to learn more. We'll link those for you here in the cards and also in the video description. I'm going to begin creating my project by making a beautiful background for my card. Here I'm using a regular Spellbinders die. This is Card Creator A2 Corner Cotillion Edge Die by Becca Feacon. I've already positioned this die on my Glimmer Hot Foil platform to start heating. You can do hot foiling not only with the Glimmer Hot Foil plates, you can also use some of your regular dies to create beautiful foiled results. Not all dies will work for this technique, so it's worth testing them beforehand. I'm going to place my foil on top of the die. I've cut it to size, it's just slightly larger than my die, and this is rose gold foil that is included with a Glimmer Hot Foil machine purchase. Every machine comes with a roll of rose gold and silver foil, as well as a glimmer plate to get you started. I want to foil on black cardstock, so I'm placing a piece of black paper over my die and my foil. And my paper is actually much larger than my die, as I can't see exactly where the die is, so it's better to have your paper cut larger than the die and later simply trim it to size. Normally, you would cover your sandwich with a thin shim and spacer pad. But because regular etched die is actually thinner than the Glimmer Hot Foil plate, it's best to add another shim, a cardstock shim perhaps to compensate for the difference in height. Once you have your sandwich ready, go ahead and take it out of the docking station and bring it over to your die cutting machine. I'm using my platinum machine, it sits off to the side of my camera, so that's why I'm not showing it on video. Be sure to slowly roll the sandwich through the machine and back for the best foil transfer. Slide your platform back into the docking station and dock it to make sure it remains hot for your next hot foil project. Remove your shim, next carefully and slowly peel the foil to enjoy a beautiful result. It looks stunning, doesn't it? We do have a bit of overfoiling here, I should have used a thinner cardstock shim, but we can easily fix that using a simple pencil eraser. I personally prefer to overfoil than to underfoil as I can always remove access foil from my project, but I cannot ever add it. I'm going to foil the same design one more time, but this time I'm using matte gold foil and white paper. I'm going to build my sandwich and will wait for the machine to heat up. I do tend to forget to press the timer button at times, this is just something that I need to get into a habit of doing. While my machine is heating up, I'm going to remove access foil from my black foil piece. You can do so by using a brush or a pencil eraser. If there are some really tough spots, you can clean those up using an X-Acto knife and just scrape the foil off. At first, it might seem like foiling takes a lot of time, especially having to wait for the machine to heat up, but you can do other things while the platform is heating, like prepping for the next foil piece or assembling your project. My platform is hot and I'm going to go ahead and send it through the die cutting machine. Time for the magic moment, peeling the foil. And look how gorgeous this looks. Imagine foiling with other etched dies in your stash. This opens up a world of possibilities. I'm going to use my tweezers to remove the die from the platform. It's hot, so it is best not to use your fingers. You will not burn yourself, but the platform does get pretty hot, so better be safe and use the tweezers. I'm going to position the Happy Birthday Hot Foil Plate from the Elegant Occasion Sentiment set on my platform to hot foil a sentiment for this project. I still have a lot of foil left in my leftover foiled piece, so I'm going to trim it using scissors and use it to foil the sentiment. I'm going to do so for both my matte gold and rose gold foils, as I need two sentiments for my cards today. While my machine is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and trim my foiled background to size. I want these to cover A2 card fronts. My plate is hot enough and now it's time to foil again. Here is what my gorgeous sentiment looks like. It is perfect for an elegant birthday card. I'm going to repeat this and foil another sentiment in rose gold on black paper. 
Some of our glimmer hot foil plates come with a coordinating die to die cut the foil design out. The sentiment set I'm using today has coordinating dies, and I'm using one for the happy birthday plate to cut this message out in my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine. I also decided to go ahead and die cut an oval opening in my white foiled background to spice this card up. With all of our parts and pieces ready, it's time to assemble our project. I've pre-cut and pre-folded an A2 top folding landscape card and I'm going to use foam adhesive squares to foam mount my foiled background piece on top to add a touch of dimension to this card. I did trim this background to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches to have a nice small border around the background. With the background in place, I'm going to repeat adding foam adhesive to the sentiment piece and will foam mount it in the oval opening on my card. Finally, I'm going to embellish the background using several liquid pearls. Here is a closer look at this simple yet stunning hot foil birthday card created using Spellbinder's Glimmer hot foil system. We hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and will give this idea a try. If you have questions about this project, please leave them in a the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Bye!